Today we continue with Tang, so we are going to be working on HTML pages. For now, let's just run the application for now. Let's just see how it goes. For now, remember we wrote a method to return the home page, so for now we can browse the home page. So let's see. If you are joining for the first time, hit the subscribe button because we are moving on and uh, we are getting it's going to get more interesting as we go. It's actually going to take some time at this point to start up. Do you know why? The reason is because it's going to create all those tables in MySQL database. And that is why for now it's going to take time starting up initially. So let's wait. So finally it started up and then we are going to go to browse and uh, let's see. Let's see. So now we hope to, to visit the home page. We're going to HTTP localhost. Uh, local host at port 8080 and you can see that it gives us a home page nothing much changed this is the same home page but if we try to visit another page let's say country uh country it doesn't work so because it doesn't work so what we are going to do now we are going to create and test the country.html page so what i'm going to do go to the templates folder on the ACRC main resources, go to the templates, and then we are going to create a country.html file. That is what we are going to do. So I'm going to just look for one that is blank, maybe. Let me take this blank one. I'm going to take the blank one. I'm going to just copy it and just I'm going to paste it and rename it as country.html. Country.html. So country.html, that is fine. And let me just open it and put some caption to show that this is the country, uh, the country's page. So the title of this page is going to be uh, manage countries. Okay, country, country management page. So I, I know why I gave it this name. And then uh, maybe this is the head, this is the body, and then um, nice admin, da 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 da. Let me just go to the the body and put something that shows, um, okay, so this head at this sidebar. So you also need to try to understand what is happening in the page. So you can see page content goes here. I'm going to just write h1, h1, and I'm going to say country, Let's say list of countries. List of countries. All right, so how do we display this page? Remember the way we display the index page? We are going to go to the controller and write a method to return this page. So, for instance, if I go to SRC main Java and I go to home controller, or we call it fleet application, application controller, you can see the method that returns index. It has, it has slash index and it returns index. So let's copy this and put it inside the country controller. So open the controller package and locate country controller and simply put it right there. But now let's call it um, get countries. Uh, let's call it get countries and uh, this will be slash countries okay and it's going to return the, exactly the name of the file without the html uh, extension so country uh go to slash countries is going to run this function get countries and it's going to return uh the country.html page so let's run it and let's visit slash country uh to see slash countries to see if it returns a list of countries so i'm going to run it at this point and let's see All right, so Tomcat started at port 8080. So at this point, I'm going to say HTTP. Let me just shift this thing out here. HTTP localhost at port 8080. And now this is the home page. That is fine. And I'm going to go to slash countries. Slash countries. Slash countries and enter. And you can see it returned a list of the page, actually list of countries. This is the country.html page that is actually returned at this point. All right, so can we do the same thing for every other page? So what I'm going to do now, let's just create uh, 
pages for all uh, all, all, all the other uh, entities we have so it's very easy so it's just we are going to do it repeat repeatedly we are going to create all the pages that we need so again let's go to the templates folder i'm going to just go to templates folder so i see main resources templates now i'm going to copy and paste it so let me just copy country and just paste it and rename it copy and paste and then rename to contacts contacts and continue again for the next one So at this point, we've created all the methods in the controller to return the HTML page for each of the each of the, the each of the um, models we have. But one thing you can see, there are two things I need you I need you to know. One, we have the name of the the, the function. Uh, actually, we have get countries in all of them, so you can actually change it. If you don't change it, it doesn't matter. It's still going to work. What actually matters is the get mapping and the return type. The return type should be exactly the name of the HTML page. So, for instance, if we have vehicle type at this point, vehicle type, it has to be exactly vehicle type uh, right here. And you also see in the in the in the URL pattern here, I choose to use lowercase all true. That's the convention I want to use. You can also choose to use a different convention, but it's better that URL should just be lowercase all true. So at this point, let me just uh, text for the vehicle type. So at this point, this is vehicle types, vehicle types. And I, got, I can just say control F and find country. Uh, country. And I'm going to replace it with vehicle uh, type. Okay, so let's find find country. Okay, so it doesn't. So I actually have replaced it. So I can just go down on this page just to see uh, somewhere, somewhere here. So you have list of countries. I was gonna call it list of vehicle types. All right. So I'm gonna run at this point. So I'm gonna uh, run it after saving everything. So let's try to visit slash vehicle types and see if it returns the vehicle types page. Actually, all the pages will work, but basically, I want you to be able to to uh, do something a bit uh, a bit neat. So change the names of the function instead of get country, you have get vehicles, get vehicle status, get vehicle types, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's go to visit slash um, and just make sure countries. Uh, country still works. Uh, country still works perfectly. And vehicle types. And you have list of vehicle types at this point. You can see so it works. So I like to recommend you do every other every other thing every other thing yourself. Put the captions of the pages on each of the page, and change the title of the page as well. Don't tamper with any other part of the page. We are going to be working on it together. And change the title of the page for all of them. Also, go to the controller functions that we wrote and change the name of the functions to reflect the name of the model. So, have get countries, change it to get vehicle types, and the same thing goes for everything. All right. So, we're also going to be stopping here. And um, okay, one more thing. I say create a link in the home page to link to the country.html file. So basically. Now we are typing in the URL to be able to link to a page, right? So how about clicking a link on the home page? Let's do that. So let's go to the home page. Let's create a link. And now this this link we are going to be creating in the home page uh, will be a timely uh, link. So 
uh, let me just show you how to do it so let's go to the home page this is the home page um, let's see so the home page we have it let's go to the home page so let's assume we want this dash of uh, these dashboards right let's see so the instruction says link to the countries page okay so let's say we have let's go back so we have on the forms we have form elements so well want to click this form elements to link to 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 countries page or to open up the countries page so this is the index page and let's look for the form element control f uh, control f what happens here control f find form elements so find so you see form element at this point and you see href and this time instead of form element we want to link to countries so simply change the name to countries so again now this href you cannot just say country.html here it's not going to work you cannot just say country.html you actually have to call the url so to do that you're actually going to say um, slash country so that is what you are going to say slash country but you're also going to say th href is equal to let me just write it and then i'm going to explain it to you because time leave is in charge of managing uh rendering the template uh, the, the html page so it's going to be at and then you put a color braces here and another color braces right here so once you save this what is going to happen is that the 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 um spring is going to call the the ur the url slash country well actually it should be slash countries so it should be the same url let me just show you in the country controller it should be the same url uh, this that you are going to use that this is a link when you go to slash countries you should be able to get uh, get to 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 this to the HTML page so to get to, to, to assign a URL link by time leave because time leave is what we use not JSP we are not using JSP because JSP is antiquated at this time uh, so let's focus on something modern so if we go to slash countries, it's the same thing that we just did here by going to slash countries and it's going to return the country the HTML page. So this is a syntax for in case of time leave. So let's go to the home page. Let's run it now. Go to the home page and we are going to click on the country link and hopefully it's going to open up the countries page. And then if it works, I'll allow you to play around but don't really I'll, i recommend you just wait let's just do it one after the other because we are taking it uh, step by step so if you break something i don't know so it's better you just wait for me as we move on uh move on to the next step with me so don't, don't try things yourself unless something i tell you uh specifically i'll try it that you should try so um i think the server have started at this point and i'm going to go to I'm going to go to the home page, the index page. You can see this index page. And if you go here, you can see forms and you can see countries. And I'm going to click on it and it goes exactly to countries as you can see. So go. let's try again. You go to forms, you go to countries and it opens up the countries page and that is fine. All right, so I'm going to stop here at this point. And the nice part, we are going to be changing the background uh, image of the home page that's what we are going to be doing next okay so for now this is the background image sorry let's just get back here for now this is what we have in the background and we are going to actually change it in the next part i'd like to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed share this video around on your social network profile and let me know if you have any challenges at all